friends, it's Joan at Ten Pentacles Tarot, back with another video, and I'm so excited because this is a new release from MJ Cullinane. They just started shipping last week, and I got mine yesterday, and I had to do the review of it. Um, this is MJ Cullinane's Treasures from Above, a Yes, No Oracle. Oh my gosh, I have been so excited about this. Before I go on with that, let me show you a couple of other MJ Cullinane's, well, three of MJ Cullinane's other decks. She um, is the creator of the Crow Tarot, which I did a review on. You may want to check that out. She is also the creator of the Urban Crow Oracle, which I also did a video of, and you may like to check that out. And she is also the author of the Guardian of the Night Tarot, which I also did a review on. Um, and so that is, uh, MJ Cullinane is a super busy lady. She is a super creative person. And I am really excited about this deck. So um, let me show you the box first. It's a two-piece box uh, up and down. It's really interesting artwork on it. Um, this is what the top looks like. And 50 cards, 150 treasures, direct answers for when you need a decisive voice. That's the side, treasures from above. And here is what um, it says. Um, it's 50 cards, 150 treasures, a 170-page guidebook. Sometimes in the pursuit of clarity, we just want a yes or no answer. Isn't that the truth? That is why I created Treasures from Above. It's like a magic eight ball with a little crow magic thrown in. Okay, it's independently published in, published in the USA, copyright MJ Cullinane 2022. So, this is one of the most interesting decks I've seen in a long, long time. Let's take a look at the guidebook first. So, it's a chunky little uh, paperback guidebook. On the back, um, Margot Jones, MJ, is an award-winning Seattle-based artist, writer, mother, and lover of all things magical, especially crows. And now, she is a Hay House author and deck creator. Okay, this does not say this one is by Hay House, but maybe her future ones will be. So how cool is that? All right, so let's look at this. And the pages in this guidebook are glossy. Um, it says, Treasures from Above, how to use this deck for divination. Sometimes we want a straightforward yes or no answer from our guides. And this is where the Treasures from Above Oracle comes in. I created this deck to help us cut to the chase, get down to business, and find the answer we seek immediately. The crows are here to guide and help us tap into our intuition. When using this deck, it's important to phrase your question to draw out a yes or no response. And that's sort of the opposite that you want when you do a tarot reading because you don't want a yes or no Um response in a tarot reading because tarot cards just aren't meant for that. Um, no, not that you can't do it, but um, that's not their major function. So, for example, is my boss plotting a plan to fire me? Am I going to meet the love of my life at the wedding I dread attending? And so on. Yes, no questions. And then um, for fun or for settling an argument, it can be used as a game. Each player draws a card and then selects the treasure they think holds the highest numerical value. And so on each card, there are three treasures to choose from. They're listed in alphabetical order, and um, they each have a numerical uh, association with it. So, like for example, bottle cap is number 45, button is number 59, and then you look up the number for your answer. So let's say, for example... Um, we got the ballerina charm, which is number 35. So I'm going to go to number 35, and it says, Like a shot through the night, your answer rang clear. Yes. So they each have like a little saying with it, and then your answer, yes, no, um, ask again or ask later. And that's it. So how cool is that? I think this is going to be great. All right. Let's take a look at the cards. So... Let me see. Oh, the back of the cards look like this, and um, it says limited edition. 
So that's that. And they're they're really slippery, which I actually like. And they are, they're not super glossy. They are more of a satin finish, okay? All right, so let's look. Um, I'll just show you the cards and uh, give you an idea of what the treasures are that, that um, is on. And each of the crows is doing something different on each of the cards. So you're supposed to look at the crow and, um, you know, see what it says to you. Look at the three treasures. In this instance, it's a spatula, a box cutter, and a sand timer. And see between the crow and the pictures of the treasures, which one um, do you pick? Like, which one does your intuition tell you is the correct one for answering your question? All right, so there's that. Here's one um, cassette tape, a wine bottle, and binoculars. And I'm glad they have the names of them because there's probably some young people who might not know what a cassette tape is. Um, a paint tube, a vase, and a rabbit. A coffin, a candle snuffer, and a wheel. Now, it'd be interesting to see if these artworks are completely new or if they match up with any of the ones on the... Um, the Crow Tarot or the Urban Crow Deck. I suspect they're all new. Um, this one has a mask, a heart, and a moon. This one has a fishing fly, a water bottle, and an ornament. Um, this one has a nickel, a fork, and a baby rattle. This one has a car key, a bracelet, and fish bones. Here's um, a thumbtack, a tweezer, and a pentacle coin. Here is an Eiffel Tower pendant, a paintbrush, and a wristwatch. Um, here's a toy car, a birthday candle, and a measuring tape. Here is an eyedropper, an earring, and a bow tie. Here is a barrette, a doorknob, and a whisk. Here, I love that crow. Look at that face. Aw. Okay. Um, here is a dime, a nail, and a pull tab. A scissors, a lock, and a feather. An electric plug, a pine cone, and a snake. A tin can, a sardine, and a hook. A paper clip, a pocket knife, and a sprocket. A wrench, a belt buckle, and a snail. There's a... Oh, that one's upside down, isn't it? Huh. There's a perfume bottle, a screw, and a monocle. There is a light bulb, a ballerina charm, and a comb. Here's a dragonfly, a sword, and a movie reel. A moth, a wheat, and a flashlight. A crab, lipstick, and a pinwheel. A cat collar, a spring, and a mirror. The sun, a pendulum, and a turtle. Um, a sage stick, a goblet, and a slipper. An antler, a wand, and a star. A teapot, a sunflower, and a frog. Garlic, an earthworm, and hedge shears. A fan, a dream catcher, and a pear. A crown, a frame, and a glove. And we said there's 50 cards. Yes, 50. An apple, a magnifying glass, and a camera. A zipper, a key ring, and a takeout box. A bike bell, a tuning fork, and a cheese grater. A string of lights, an eyelash curler, and a shot glass. A guitar pick, a pencil, and a metal. A toothbrush, a dinosaur, and a hex nut. A wishbone, a lantern, and glasses. A bottle opener, a flip-flop, and a bike chain. A corkscrew, a pocket watch, and a lighter. A quarter, a key, and a bottle cap. A top hat, a sewing needle, and a wallet. A brush, a mushroom, and a screwdriver. A medicine bottle, a rose, and a teacup. A playing card, a glass eye, and a carrot. Carabiner? Carabiner? I don't know what that is. I mean, I've seen one. I just did not know it was called that. It's like one of those little clip things. Huh. 
a plane, a boot, and a spade. If any of you can tell me how to pronounce that, I will be so happy. I guess I can look it up. Um, a button, a diamond ring, and a penny, and a shell, a sugar spoon, a mouse, a cork, a bell, and a safety pin. So that's all um, 50 cards. And I really love the way she put the crow art on it also to add the little bit of crow magic to it because um, it's a lot more interesting and exciting with that than it would be if it was just the treasures. So let's um, see how they shuffle. And then I want you to think of a yes, no question and we will pull a card. So think very, very carefully about a yes, no question. Yes, these are super slippery, which doesn't bother me a bit. I know some people don't like it. I actually like it. And um, they shuffle very nicely. The cardstock, I didn't even mention this. The cardstock is, it's about medium weight. It's flexible, but it's really, really good quality. All right, one more shuffle. Have you thought of your yes, no question? Let me think of one. Quickly. Okay. okay, I've got mine. And you will have to tell me if yours is correct, and I will tell you if mine is correct, but I'm not going to tell you what it is just yet. All right, so concentrate on your question, and there's your answer. Now, Everybody's answer is going to be different, so I'll read all three treasures, and that way, um, because there will be three answers to this card. Okay, so either take a look at the crow. Can you see it? There's an apple in a... There's an apple. It looks like a cloud. There's an apple in a cloud, a crow, and a branch. I think those are clouds. And the treasures are the shell, a mouse, and a sugar spoon. So think for a minute. Do you choose the shell, the mouse, or the sugar spoon? All right. Did something today bring any of those, either of those three things to mind? Are you drawn to one more than the other? So I'm going to give you a couple few seconds to just pick one, and then I'll read all three answers. All right. Are you ready? You have either chosen the mouse, the shell, or the sugar spoon. So let's look up shell. The shell is number 54. If you chose the shell, your answer is this. The stars have come together to tell your story, and it begins with yes. So if you chose the shell, your answer is yes. Okay, if you chose the mouse, let's see. The mouse is number 141, and that says, um, be still as the wind is whispering, your answer, yes. So if you chose the mouse, your answer is yes. And Sugar Spoon is number... Um, 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 59, and let's see what that answer is. Are you ready, Sugar Spoon people? It says, the sun returns and springs blooms. The sun returns and springs blooms. Your answer emerges from the frosty ground. Yes. All right, folks, that's it. No matter which treasure you chose today, the answer is yes. And I'm sure on all the cards, all of the answers on each card are not all yes. I'm sure they're, like, mixed up. All right. So that is that is my review of MJ Cullinane's Treasures from Above, a yes-no oracle. And I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. Um, so um, if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up. If you 
um, like my videos in general, please consider subscribing to my channel because it is completely free. And if you hit the notification bell, you'll be notified whenever a new video is uploaded. So that is my video right now. I thank you for joining me. I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. And I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever it is where you are. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.